So Grin has a awesome culture of just like hustler, work hard, collaborative, and win or lose wear it is one of my favorites of, you know, one of the Grin, Grin mottos for their culture. But collectively, just knowing that we have each other, we can't win alone. This is the team effort on what we do. Um, everyone has to win together. So that's probably my favorite part about, about Grin. So for a day in the life of a BDR, I think it is mostly just prospecting. You know, we're, we're booking calls with potential customers. And if we're not on a call with them, we're looking to get that next call. Um, so what that involves is just a lot of creativity uh, within our emails, calls. We use video prospecting and social selling. So um, finding people on LinkedIn and Instagram to, to get those new quality customers. Day one, when I started as a BDR, through conversations with my manager, my peers, um, we even have internal documents that lay it out perfectly for you. But in terms of working your way up through the BDR ranks, it's crystal clear on your first day. And you really have that transparency and knowing like, I have to do X, Y, and Z if I want to hit these promotions. And I think that really gives you the, the power to really own your, your career and how fast you want to make those moves. It's just a matter of how quickly you can do that. But at no point, you know, are you wondering, am I going to get a promotion? Am I going to do this? It's laid out crystal clear for you. And I could be more thankful for Green for that. I would say my favorite part of working at Grin is working with these awesome brands, being able to speak with these brands that you truly love, you maybe even have an affinity for, you might use their products every day, and then having these conversations with super creative people in the space and people that are really interested in Grin and just excited to be having that conversation is such a good feeling. And that was one of my favorite parts of being a BDR was just like, I'm having the best conversations with the coolest people and I would always brag about that to my family. Like you would never believe who I just got off the phone with. And that's such a cool feeling. And I'm not sure what, what other companies you can do that with, but um, definitely um, it kind of gave me this adrenaline rush when I got off of a call with a really cool brand and even better scheduled that demo. I think as a top performing BDR, there's a couple of characteristics that you really have to fully embrace. Remain even keel throughout the process. In the world of sales, you'll have really good days and you'll have really bad days, but really just keep in mind that just trust the process. Know that if you do what you can control, whether that be reaching out to companies or just finding companies um, and then reaching out to them, do what you can control and the rest will follow. You're someone who ultimately is looking for a new challenge wanting to grow in new ways that you haven't before. I know it can be kind of daunting entering a new sales role, but I think as long as you have that coachability aspect and you're looking to take on a new challenge, I think everything's gonna work itself out.